He's just standing there. Menacingly! Ah, there we go. Uh, good morning, evening, night, whatever time of day. I'm actually from the set. Might be night because it's really dark on one side of me. <laughs> We're back here again. Big relaxo in the UGA. Who's now just selecting the rules. Um, <coughs> this is a matchup we were, I was really scared for because in a lot of our, um, our practice matches, we um, we uh, found out that some of the options he has for like setting up his Pokemon are really hard for us to counter, like Snorlax with Belly, <coughs> with belly Drum. Like, we could counter it, but if he had Trick Room, then our counter didn't work, which was, uh, which was really scary. So, we got some really niche you know, approaches to it <coughs> to try and. Try and get around that. Uh, this is the team for No, it's not. I have to. <coughs> <coughs> Register the team for this week, which I believe is this one. Yep. Right. So, yeah, so we, we did work that out. We're going back with the uh, with the sand mode this week as well. It's because it was the only way, really, we could... We could effectively get around... Uh, my opponent's team. Incineroar isn't coming because he has a lot of Pokemon with the ability to uh, activate abilities on, or uh, moves, which uh, are triggered by Intimidate and other stat drops. So that was really a <coughs> <coughs> really bad. And on top of all that, my cough is in the stage where it's like it's nearly gone, so it's really bad. But we go over it. Um, yeah, this is the right team. Hopefully, hopefully we can pull through. Hopefully that they um, hopefully they use the Pokemon that we expect them to bring, or at least something, or maybe something something we didn't expect them to bring, which could be better for us. If Snorlax is there, it's gonna be really hard. Cinderace was a really 50-50 matchup for us. Um, Trevenant caused a couple of problems because it was super effective into a lot of our ways to actually counter Trevenant. <laughs> I've got a drink here, uh, some sort of coloured fizzy drink. Yeah. But yeah, so that's really hard for us to work around. And honestly, if we see either of those, any, well, those three, like the big ones, Berserker is also kind of iffy because it's really strong into a lot of our Pokemon. We have got Charm on Togepi. In case we are in Trick Room, we need to get some stat drops on the things that we know can take a stat drop. But other than that, uh, it really is a big kerfuffle. And who do we see? Okay, so some of the Pokemon we did expect to see have come. Um, Latios, I did EV a lot for Latios. Barbarical, I EV a lot for Barbarical as well. Middle three, bottom four, I should say, actually, the bottom four <coughs> we practiced into. And they're some of the ones that make it really iffy match up. Barbarical makes it really hard for the sand mode, actually, as we switch in the Jellicent. Um, but I might say to Samuel for game two, maybe bluff that I'm maybe running like a more niche sand mode. Um, so our lead of like the anti Snorlax lead that we came up with, it's very, very niche and very, very awkward to pull off. But if we do pull off, it is really fun because they lose all their stat boosts and we can benefit from those despite the Pokemon that are doing it. Um, actually he's quite fast, so we can probably get away with using Trick Room. So if I lead with my Trick Room mode. <laughs> and then in the brack, bring Gigalith and Togepi for this. Um, we could probably work at. Mm. I think I'll go for that. I think I'll go for that. He only really has one Pokemon for Trick Room, which is the Snorlax, so we can exploit that. Be really good. We have got Superpower on the Gigalith for that. <laughs> Max Knuckle, because they've have a little bit of a debuff to fight type attacks because of the stat boot, the attack, the uh, attack boost they get, and most fun type attacks are physical. Um, it means we have to stay small. Snorlax leader kit, we did. Oh, we did see the Snorlax lead as well. Oh, I could have gone with the anti Snorlax mode. Um, I don't think it's G Max Snorlax. We're probably not going to go big. So I'm going to opt to fake out the Snorlax and just. Outright go for that trick room. If he well, he can Dynamax still. 
But if he does Dynamax and he goes for like a uh, Max Darkness, we have to bury, and since it's not stab, we should live it. And we are physically invested in our defense. A lot of his Pokemon we are facing uh, have the option to maybe be a physical attacker. Nino King goes big, Nino King goes big, he's getting special defense boost. Um, I did change the score on this set, so who's going to be all. Ooh, something's going to be big. If it's not, it's going big. It's a bit iffy because we did fake out into that. Okay, it's a slot, it's going to be so it's a bit of a problem. We have, might be able to work around that. Okay. Ludge Bomb. Okay, go for it, I should take that. Max Darkness. Yep. <coughs> Let's go out to the berry. And we'll take that. We take that quite comfortably. We maybe I'll we'll take a second one. <laughs> okay, I'm fine with this. We we'll take that. Um, do I switch in Gigalith here to try and take a max ground? Because I can't really do much. With that, so I'll switch in Gigalith, and then I'm gonna strength sap the Snorlax, try and, try and get my health back, and also just lower its attack step. I say it's taking a max ground, it's taking a Earth Power. Um, really though, like this is actually quite tough on my leader. If I I should have bought the Lele, because I could use Lele's um uh, niche moves and Togepi to, to do some funky stuff as well. It can protect, which is fine. This is absolutely fine for the switch in all my days. Oh, it's a max overgrowth. It's like going into Judson. That's going to Judson. Do we take? Because non stab? Oh, no, we don't take it. Okay. This makes our self activation wound a bit iffy because of the grassy terrain. <laughs> but we have foot around this as well. Um, actually, I'm a bit scared of this matchup. I'm going to get rid of the Nido King. And I'll self activate. Um, yeah, I'm actually. <coughs> a bit. Actually, I could have maybe faded out the Nido King and then maybe activate. No, he don't target down the Gothari just to get rid of it. Um, yeah, I'm actually really, really twisted this matchup. This was going to be a hard week for me, and I think this is really showing from the Pokemon that my uh, my opponents brought today. I think we'll be leading the outright sand mode game two could possibly help just to get the the uh, pace that we need. Uh, of course, cause he has switch into ground as well, but we have rock slides and stuff. We don't have we've not source down variant this week though, just because we needed the Bordos. For um, we needed a night slash as well, just to cover some Pokemon we'll be switching in. It was, there was a lot of a lot of coverage that we needed that we couldn't really have with the coverage we did have for it. So it's a lot of oh, so he's going to protect no double protect. He's got max steel spike for the defense boost. Okay. Let's go into the Gotharia. We should take that because there's no super effectiveness to it. But it is going to make <coughs> the damage rolls a bit so so. <coughs> then we're going to proc. I've got my friend thinking is he fast Gigalith? Because why did go after the small axe and the Gotharita? Something we did have to sacrifice um, to actually get damage off. And it's not actually going small this turn, so we can easily just do some big as big damage as possible anyway into it. And we've got our helping hands and all that. Let's see who's coming in this side slot. Lord's healing is quite good as well.
under us. Um, we could just max rock fall it. Well, the snipe might be a bit, bit more of a threat. Um. He hasn't revealed any protecting this map, so I'm gonna <coughs> up to try and tie down the Snorlax and get the attack, get another attack boost as well. So if we see any like niche moves, we could see foul play. All that could be really, really throw us off. I'm actually so good at this game. I'm actually so good at this game. The bomb that did a. A bit, but not enough to get the knockout. I got the KO. Nice. Oh. Pulling some sort of, like, moves to, like, stop the attack going in. I wasn't actually picking protect, but I'm actually so good at this game getting their knockouts and all that. Because, <coughs> what the fuck's a thunderer? <coughs> I'm gonna do just to, to giggle it. And we have, um, Togepi in back to just follow me. So in comes Latios. Um, I'm I'm more inclined just to knock out the Thunderous here. Uh, go for a helping hand just in case there's some weird bulk shenanigans. Got a bit of a lag there, but hopefully that was just my switch uh, capture feed lagging on my Wi-Fi. So we get Max Rock fall off. That drops the Fundy. Uh, Lagos can is probably gonna get a knockout this turn. I don't know what what Lagos can do in this situation. Aurosphere, okay, but we take that because it's for death boost we've got and from the sand. Helios <coughs> <coughs> was such a good grab in the draft. Um, the dimensions turn to normal. Am I free to just? Uh, I think I might rock slide the trick room. Um, just because of our protect, he might just go ahead and get a knockout. She's going for the Aurosphere. Go on, Gigalith. Nice. Does he grab KO? Yep, nice. I'm just going to take no already for, uh, he for, uh, Nido. Snorlax, Latinx, and he bought Tandy. Um, yeah, we'll take a sleep card. I'm doing that a lot. My leash card's gonna flop in this sleep. So, that trick room mode did stop him. I might. Uh, he might try and switch things up. So I might go for the, um, the fast sand mode. <laughs> Mm, or do I just go straight out for Trick Room again? Because he might try and play around it. I'm actually going to go Togepi plus Gothorita for my Trick Room mode. And then bring Gigalith and Jellicent in the back. Just to try and um, guarantee Trick Room goes a bit better because Fake Out, of course, <laughs> means that they can still be targeted by a Dynamax move. And if Togepi goes down, um, but Sash will take two hits. We just bring Gigalith in straight away and then side proc. I'm going to have some of my peas that I've got beside me to get some energy. It's coming out. Bundy Latios. Honestly, just gonna follow me and set up Trick Room. Mm. 
Like, how does he stop this? How does he stop this? Maybe some sort of threat move, actually. That one's that slot. That's gonna do a fair bit. Nice. Electro Rep just makes us slower in Trick Room. See now I can just switch in Gigalith. And then go for the side proc. I guess he's good for Electro Rep, maybe this is only spread move. But that just it, it that just super benefits me in, in this field of play. And stream grabs up, so we'll take those special attacks a bit better. People yep. You guys policy long animations. Switching to Goff, okay. You comes out from the back. Flex. Got a ball. Will that knock out? It's not stab. Oh, we're just living. Dynamax, and I'm gonna go for a mm, Snorlax. Less of an issue, so I'm gonna go for a helping hand. Max Watch one, <coughs> Max Watch Thunder Latias. Latias switches into Fundy. That's good. It's Snorlax switches into Fundy. That's also good as well. These can go big with, <coughs> with Snorlax, likely. Um, we should be fine. Maybe helping hand in, and then damaging the Snorlax. A bit better. <coughs> we'll have to see. Yeah, she's getting that defense boost. We should take. Oh, oh, that's a bit of damage. It's a bit scary because Snorlax is now getting defense boosts that are paralleling our, our attack boosts, but. The helping hand and the, the uh, I think this positive should grab it. Yep. We'll see all the buffeting. Uh, I'm gonna bring Togepi in. I can charm <laughs> the Snorlax. I should be slower than Snorlax. This just gives me an extra little sense of security there. With the damage output has a thunderous. Um, it's probably going to protect. I'm going to go for Max Ruffle into it anyway, and I'm going to charm Snorlax. I need to get attack drops on this Snorlax. Yep. That. That's a bit safer for us. We can get another one next time as well, which is <coughs> really good. And then Max Rockfall. 
I should get rid of that. I should be crossing off. As they go, so Fundy's gone. Lagos is <coughs> gone. I didn't see if Trick Room Tower, I'll look on the little stats page next time. Anita King comes in, uh Trick comes up for one turn, so he's probably gonna protect Nido King. Um I was going to Optimax max Knuckle to Snorlax and Charm Snorlax. Actually... I'll try and get us for Death Boost. Just for next turn, just in case. And then Charm and Snorlax. <coughs> and Snorlax just get his stats down. I'm surprised he's got nothing to stop this Charm, actually. Yeah, he protects, that's fine. Another charm. We have no like, steel spike. I'll have to get photography this turn. Quake, how much is that doing? Do I try and set up a tr <coughs> trick room? I have Jellison. I could. Oh, do I live? You have power. Jellison's gonna be faster than the Snorlax. Snorlax has like dropped in stats to high health, so like that's why I check. He's like, yeah, he's neg four attack. No, up to super power to Snorlax, and then water spout. Earth power. Oh, we don't take out all the boosts. Okay. Okay, well, this is what it's about doing. There goes a Neo King. Wait, does Black Signals my stat <coughs> change it? <coughs> or is it all stat changes? It's only my stat change. Only my stat changes. Okay. Uh, I'll go for another war spell. I haven't lost that much HP. Seed bomb. Uh, let's go for another war spell. Field Steel Spike, Lariat, Seed Bomb. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Strength Sap this turn, get his attack lower and get my health back. Another strength set. I'm running out of spouts here, so I need to get my HP up. His attack down. <coughs> I'm 
Okay, so this attack is now as low as it can possibly be, I believe. Oh, this is such a risky end game. Oh. Okay, I think we win. I think we win. I say I think. What spell can't miss? He's on like a sliver of HP. Oh. Honestly, coming into this match, I was dreading it. Oh, thank you, Pedons, for all these ticks and tips and tricks that we planned. Thank you, Big Relaxo, for probably the most intense match I've had in terms of, like, <coughs> down to the wire. I was so scared I was going to get crit from a Darkest Lariat there, and I was having to, like, be like, hey, is Darkest Lariat one of the ones where it ignores all stat changes, or just my stat ch <laughs> changes? But honestly, GG's. And I look forward to playing whoever I have next week. Big rock, so good luck in the rest of the tournament. And I will say goodbye to everyone who watches this, if people actually do watch these.